Okay guys, welcome back to my uh, walkthrough videos. Um, this time I'm going to be doing uh, just a very short walkthrough series for the brand new Resident Evil 5 DLC Lost in Nightmares. Um, just real quick, I'm going to talk about why I'm doing just this segment. Um, it's because the Resident Evil 5 main campaign, there's just a lot of levels that I really wouldn't feel like making a walkthrough for, because when I, f when I make a walkthrough, um, I generally tend to, well, I, I see it as a very strenuous activity, to tell you the truth. So, I'm doing this walkthrough because I feel like it. Now, I want to state before people start bitching at me, I have never played this before. Okay, this is my first time, so I'm going to be doing everything... Brand new. The PSAA received intel as to the whereabouts of Umbrella's founder, Oswell E. Spencer. Jill and I were ordered by the BSAA's European headquarters to apprehend him. We accepted that mission in the hopes of uncovering some info that would lead us to Wesker. Chris to HQ, come in. We're at the target's location. Copy that, Chris. Move in and procure the target. Roger that. What can you tell us about the area? The satellite scan isn't showing anything out of the ordinary, but regardless, you should expect the unexpected. Understood. We're in. Let's move. So yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, I haven't played this before. I have no idea what to expect or what I'm doing. Only that this is supposed to be a throwback to the original Resident Evil games. Which I think is pretty cool. So there's blood here. Okay. So um, what I'm going to do as a caveat to that... Or, you know, just like, in an effort to um, offset that, is anytime I get lost or anything, I'm definitely going to be, um, something with a square. I'm going to be, what is it with this guy and cranks? He's obsessed. Fast forwarding. So that you guys don't have to watch me trying to figure it all out. Um, which may start very soon, because I'm already kind of lost. Right, okay. So, here's the mansion atrium. Or, the mansion entrance. Let's try these doors. Okay, so I've tried all the areas down here, so let's head upstairs. Oh my god, Eagle Six to Nest, do you read it? Eagle Six to Nest. What the fuck was Go ahead. We found some men down. Judging by their wounds, it looks like they were physically assaulted. I figure they're probably Spencer's security. Lord only knows what killed them. Roger that. We knew this mission wouldn't be a cakewalk. Use extreme caution. Okay. Um. Well, they told me this would be a lot more survival horror than you the action of Resident Evil 5. Which I'm guessing is pretty, pretty accurate. Um, okay. So I'm guessing now these, that lever that I activated downstairs opened these two doors. Which is nifty. So much for going this way. Okay, so I'm not going that way. I'm finding a lot of bullets right now. Though I'm guessing that's gonna not be the case for much of this game. Okay. Um, the only thing that I see that I can do. Well, let's try this door. Damn, that is creepy.
Okay, I'm in a bedroom now, some kind. Did you just push me, bitch? Get back up. That's right. Ooh, booty. Hello, booty. Mm -hmm. Get that booty. Sorry. Distracted. Right, okay. There's something over here. It looks like pages from a diary. Some entries are missing. Actually, I played poker tonight with Scott and Alias from security, and then I died because my life sucks. One of the higher-ups assigned me to take care of a new creature. Gorilla or something. I'm wearing this damn space suit since yesterday. Blah, 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 blah. Itchy, tasty. There's a note between the last few pages. Password. Alright, so I've got a password now. Which I'm sure will be useful. And there's nothing over here. Okay, let's go. I really like that door animation. That's really cool. I wondered how they would do that, because as you might recall, in the first Resident Evil, you know, you had that door opening animation, which would precede every, uh, every door you open. So, okay. So the only thing I see that I can do right now is that assisted jump over here even though I really don't want to do that. Well, let's see what happens. Chris, I'm in the dining room. Oh, well, looky here. I found a weapon I can use. What the fuck did you find? You found a shotgun! Where are you? Raccoon City. Fortunately, yeah. That's where all this started. It's hard to believe that was eight years ago. What the fuck are you? I guess I am getting older. You're not the only one. Okay, I hear her voice like she's right next to me. I got the door open. Okay, so the dining room's down here. Hello. I want that shotgun. You do not you do Can not you get to hold on to that shotgun. That just is not happening. Oh boy, this looks like the Dying, oh boy, this looks like the dining hall from Resident Evil. Resident Evil 1. Nothing good happened in there. But I got the fucking shotgun now, so you bitches better back. Alright, I gotta change this. That's better. Okay. Alright, so let's book it on down here. See what's over here. Wonder who started the fire. I don't know. Zombies don't like fire, so probably not them. Alright, um... I don't think this game saves ever. I mean, there are probably checkpoints, but... What the fuck is that noise? Oh, I got killed by a crimson head in this room in Resident Evil 1. The remake on the cube. There's a door down that way. This should be like a supply room. If it's exactly faithful. Or it could be a bathroom with a red herb. Okay, so I need to find a green herb that goes with that. Okay. And I am ready for zombies, man. I don't actually know if you're gonna encounter any zombies in this in this part of the in this DLC. I don't know. I know there are like some kind of sentry-like zombies. I don't even know if they can be killed. I'm gonna go ahead and just skip through all this text and hope there's another... Nope. There isn't. 